Good morning guys, the day has finally arrived. I'm heading to New York for a whole month. I'm so excited, it's about 10 a.m. The car is coming to pick me up to take me to Heathrow in around like five, 10 minutes. I'm all packed already and I could not be more excited. The trip that I went on last year to New York for around three weeks was absolutely amazing and this time it's gonna be even better it's becky and i going we both co-executive produce this online series called creators on creators so we're doing quite a bit of work for that over there i don't know how many of these videos i'm gonna make but make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos because i'm sure it's gonna be more than one but yeah if you don't already make sure you follow me on socials because i'm gonna be posting a bunch of other stuff on there as well and i probably have already started posting a ton i don't know how much we'll check in today because it is just a travel day literally get to the airport flight leaves at 3 land around 6 p.m. New York time which is like 11 p.m. UK time and then we just have to try stay up as much as possible so that we don't get jet lagged and wake up too early tomorrow but yeah that's the plan maybe we'll catch up at the airport maybe we'll catch up when we're in New York stay tuned but let's get going <laughs> Immigration was so smooth. Our immigration officer was lovely. Great guy. Really great guy. Dan him. That's his surname. <laughs> We're just waiting for our luggage and then Becky's booked us a Tesla SUV to take us to our Airbnb. Um, we have a long night ahead of trying to stay awake because it's like 11 p.m. in the UK but only 6 p.m. here so we need to do a food shop, check into our Airbnb and get dinner and you know just get prepped for our life as New Yorkers so really excited um, but yeah we've each got like three suitcases with us so that's gonna be a fun challenge um, but yeah oh also American Airlines premium economy a star thoroughly enjoyed that flight We are just getting our, you know, matcha and coffee to start the day. We've had a cinnamon bun and Becky had an olive oil cake. Thoroughly enjoyed this morning. It's Sunday. I have stories for you about last night. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'll tell you that later, but it's like 10.45. We've got a really fun day planned. Not really, not really too many plans, just mainly errands and stuff, because I do want to show you the Airbnb and show you the space and everything, but we just need to get we need to get a few things. We need to get hangers. I need to get a new comforter, and some laundry bits. Like we just need to get settled. It's been a really nice, chill, slow Sunday morning, and um, yeah, looking forward to getting in there. We're gonna go to some farmers market. <laughs> oh, sorry. So fun. We're gonna go to some farmers markets. Oh, just so happy, so happy to be here. The place that we just went. It's called Botany. Really lovely. The match was great. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. 
and it's the sounds of the city. It's what really, you know, really makes it. But I'm wearing like Bed Stuy, which is in Brooklyn. That's our like neighborhood. And we just walked seven minutes to this cafe, and there were a bunch of others in this area as well. Um, so yeah, just having a really good time. It's gonna get to 27 degrees today, which is just incredible. So yeah. Anyway, we'll catch up in a bit. The plan is to get a city bike to the farmer's market and there are so many available dotted around. Yeah, that was good, that was good. We just went into this store called Cotton and they gave us some bou bouquets. Um, for free, which is so kind. We're walking from the Carroll Gardens Market to a Trader Joe's and like towards Brooklyn Heights, Dumbo. Um, but yeah, just having such a great time. Those bikes, oh, outstanding stuff. We're gonna check out Blank Street right now, get a cheeky drink before heading to Trader Joe's. En el canto de las olas encontré un rumor de luz. Por un canto de gaviotas. We have picked up food from a Mexican food truck that was outside Trader Joe's. It looks so good. We got them here. We're going to walk to one of the lookout points. Um, in Dumbo and just enjoy the view and enjoy our food. We got some steak tacos. So, yeah, my hair is doing the absolute most right now. Okay, so these are the tacos. We've got some salsas here. Green one, red one, um, and then these are steak. Really excited about this. How's the lime on it? a dejar que el tiempo pare ver nuestros recuerdos en los mares y esta soledad tan profunda Cherry lemonade. Best decision from Kygo. Oh. Kygo next to the um, next to the Pier 3. Yeah. Pier 3 we're at. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. The best thing we've done today. <laughs> Tacos, sure. <laughs> this, absolutely. Cool. Target didn't even feel like it got that much, but it was fifty dollars. I will do a mini haul, but I cannot believe. I would, I would always hear people talk about how when you go into Target for one thing, you leave with a bunch of other things. I don't even think I we we got that much, and yeah, really feeling really feeling a type of way about that. The bikes were like fifty, like thirty to fifty dollars for that as well. Um, so we really need to assess how this is going to work moving forward. New York City in 77 pounds a week for the subway. Yeah. That's if that that's that's if we're getting it four times a week. Yeah. Four times a day. A day. Yeah. So that's three hundred dollars in a month for the month. Let's say if we use the bike four times in a week mm -hmm. it's $80 $80 a week that's more than the thingy <laughs> by only how much is it? I think it's just a bike are situation are you sure the metro is that much? the subway? yeah I know it's two seventy five. dollars if it's got up I'm going home how much is the subway? the ride the ride maybe that's why people get metro cards oh <laughs> 
They cap it, they cap it. I think they cap it. What? Okay, a seven day metro card costs $34. If we get the city bypass, mm -hmm. we cannot use the subway once. No. And if it rains, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Like, I'm not paying $220 oh, okay, but now, to then rains. get on a subway and. 30, so 34. 34, 34. a week. For a week, yeah, times that by four, right? That is 136. So we know for this month we're spending $136 on the tube. There we go. That's it. But I want to get the bike. We, we're not getting the bike anymore. I need. We can, can you not get the bike in Green Park? I mean, in. Not Green Park, go on. In. Um, what's it called? Not Times Square Park. Central Park. You'll never say a bad thing about the country again. 30 minutes is what? Like five quid? Less than it 30 costs, minutes is free on the Boris rode, bikes. Exactly, we rode for 40 minutes, it cost us 30 dollars. 20 something, 20 dollars. Might as well have been 70. <laughs> so, I mean, I, well, I'm gonna get a Metro Pass for the week, every week, and just load it because then at least I can do unlimited. With the bike, I have also with the bike, I have to get the e bike. I've been exposed to it now, I must use it. E bike. The docks, there's always docks around. I have to make sure that there's enough space for me to put my bike in. Then you have to deal with the other cars. I have a higher risk of death. You know, that means then I have to go to the hospital and pay for the insurance bill. People are pushing people into the subway tracks. Of course they are, but at least if I hold onto a pillar, I should be okay. What if we hired like a private hi private bike hire? Yeah. Private bike hire for- This is psychotic. Private- For a month. Bike hire. For one month. NYC, month. Then we cannot get the subway. This is, no, because it might be... How much? Share the group. I saw something that says most places will basically charge you around 150 a day. It's not an easy shit, is it? Currently, it's Tuesday morning. We're about to head out and go to a cafe, but I realized I didn't update you on anything that I said I was gonna update you on. We arrived Saturday night. Not only was our taxi to, to the Airbnb $100, we arrived and we were like, okay, let's just go to the supermarket, get some bits for the house, because we really don't wanna, you know, spend too much money. Um, we got five canned drinks um, for a taste test and um, one pot of yogurt, one avocado, and one pack of raspberries, and that was $46. So after that, we were like, this cannot run. This is ridiculous. Let's just get some dinner, reconvene, we'll go again tomorrow. Our dinner was $50, and you might be thinking, oh, that's just normal for a dinner. We got pizza. It was two pizzas, two drinks for $50. Yeah. So then the next day we were like, okay, you know what? We've learned our lesson yesterday. We're gonna go to a Trader Joe's. We'll find a Trader Joe's, that'll be fine. We found a Trader Joe's, everything was great. Prices are really great. I got a new tote bag as well, which is $4, excellent. So that was going really well. But the issue was, we were city biking around the whole day. You probably saw in the vlog when we were trying to figure out money-wise, like what is gonna make more sense, city biking or getting the subway. If you're from London, you'll know Boris bikes, like the first half an hour is free. It's just a really affordable way to get around the city. New York, not so much, not so much. Why was it $35 for approximately one hour on the city bike? That's ridiculous. We went to Target after that and that was the last straw because why did I leave Target spending $50? Not one nutritional piece of food, like it's genuinely worrying how much choice there is, but um, I love it, I love it so much. I thought Target was like going to Poundland, but it's not, it's actually expensive there. What was it that we saw? Biscoff, oh my goodness. $6. No, $7. $7, yeah. $7 for Biscoff spread. Is that not wild? Like we were saying, like in the supermarket in the UK, we'll see three fifty for Biscoff, three pound fifty, and we're like, oh, that's a bit spenny. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That is a bit spenny. 
Seven dollars in Target for Biscoff. Ridiculous. Then we came home, had a girl dinner because spirits were low. But yesterday we had a really great day working away. We just went to Dumbo House and we were there from 10 to 6, put in a shift and then we went to Forma Pasta, um, one of our favourite pasta spots here in the city. It's like if a restaurant was a frat house, but um, it wasn't as fratty this time around. But um, it, was it was a different location. If we went to Greenpoint, it would have been fratty. So yeah, we were just we literally just put in a shift and did a huge admin day yesterday at Dumbo House. So nothing to show for you. But today we're kind of doing like a hybrid day ish. It's like 9:30 ish, I think. We're gonna head to a cafe, get our matcha, get our coffee, sit down, do a bit of admin on our laptops, drop our laptops back off because we're local to a lot of cafes around here. We're in Bed Stuy, um, and then we're gonna city bike, get a day pass because the day passes are twenty dollars. Um, and then just city bike into Manhattan because we haven't actually been to Manhattan yet. It's only our third full day here, but it feels like we've been here for so long and I absolutely love that, that's the best thing. And then just see where the day takes us. It should be good, maybe Central Park. I wanna get some sweet green, the salads there are so good. Um, but we'll check in, we'll check in. I'll make an effort to check in. I hope everyone's enjoying the vlog so far. If you are, definitely make sure you subscribe. So yeah, let's get going. I usually don't love working in cafes, but working with other people in cafes is top tier. We're doing a bunch of work for Creators on Creators. It's time to get some New York guests on. Um, we finished work at the cafe. It's like 12.30. We're gonna head into Manhattan, cross the Manhattan Bridge with the bikes. It's just gonna be such a vibe. Um, but yeah, such an amazing morning so yeah. far. It's been really, really yeah, I'm fun. I'm up at Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to the Nero. But I'll be hood forever. I'm the new Sinatra. And since I made it here, I can make it anywhere. Yeah, they love me everywhere. I used to cop in Harlem. We are in the supermarket now. We've just docked the bikes after riding over the bridge. Oh my goodness, that was outstanding so so beautiful but I feel like I look disheveled right now gonna get some fruit um, get a drink we need some hydration but yeah excellent scenes I felt like I was in yeah, into the spider oh, oh, oh. a million miles away I'd write a letter each and every day cause honey nothing we are just about to check out New York or Nowhere. We, oh my gosh, I got the best soft serve matcha from Chacha Matcha and it was just incredible. This isn't the store. I thought that was the store. But um, yeah, it's like five something in the, in the evening. So we're gonna get food after this, eat, enjoy before going to our concert. Coming, and you can pass me by, but honey, nothing. Nothing can ever change this love I have for you. Oh, you're the apple of oh, my eye. Are. Are. So for you to see. You're cheering. Sing the hook if you scared Put me down in Brooklyn if I lose my life Push me down the Hudson